back with me, Elo, and my Mexican husband here. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so yeah, in this video, we're going to make... Uh, I want to know that how much you know about telenovela because you're a okay. Mexican. So yeah, mm -hmm. here I have seven questions and you have to answer uh, like, is it true or false? True or false, okay. Well, <laughs> telenovelas are a part of the Mexican culture. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, since we are kids, small kids, we are uh, related to the TV, right? So one of the things that you watch on TV all the time yes. in Mexico, telenovelas, so. Well, also in Indonesia, but yes. honestly, I have never seen that movie, that telenovela, I've never seen any of them. Mexico, so, yeah. Ah, okay. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. so, I think I'm yeah. going to be true, 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 true. Oh, oh, I remember very well my childhood. So basically, you have seen that telenovela? Well, I, I didn't watch uh, most of them recently. Well, I was doing other things, but when I was a kid, well, my mom liked to watch telenovelas, and mm -hmm. we have to watch my, my mom was watching. Marimar. Well, Marimar, no, I was, I was kind of old, not much. <laughs> By the time Marimar, Maria del Barrio, Maria Mercedes were on on TV, but um, I remember, I remember most of that. I told you it's part of the culture. So yeah, guys, this is about. Um, it's not question. It's about statement. Okay. So he has to answer yes or no, true or false. Okay. Okay. Yes. The first one is. Uh, the movie Betty, the, the telenovela Betty La Bea is a telenovela filmed in Colombia written by Fernando Barrio. Is it true or false? I don't remember because I don't remember the name of the actors because originally that telenovela was from Colombia and, and then here in Mexican TV. But I remember that, of course, Betty La Fea was from Colombia. There was a Mexican version, something like. Uh, La Fea Más Bella, something like that. I don't remember the name of the actor. Well, the not, actor. I'm not asking about the actor. The written by... It is written no. by Fernando Barrio, is it? I have no true. idea who, <laughs> who was the creator of that story. <laughs> yeah. So, just answer... But probably, probably, I think, true. True, because that name, Fernando Barrio, sounds kind of Colombian. <laughs> Colombian name. Yeah, probably, yes. Okay, okay. Well, the answer is false. It's written by Fernando Caetan. Gaitan? Gaitan. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Well, okay. no. I have no idea who was the creator of the story. <laughs> kind of typical there. Yeah. Okay. Well, the second one, the second okay, statement is the full name of Betty in the telenovela Betty La Bea is Beatriz Aurora Pinzon Zaragoza. Yeah, true or false? maybe. Well, Betty is a nickname for Beatriz. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's. That's true, but the, mm, uh, the full name it was I don't that. Know the full name. I, I, by the time Betty La Fea was on, uh, on TV, uh, I was old and busy with other things. Probably I didn't watch uh, most of that. But <laughs> maybe yes. True or false? I think that sounds like uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> false. And the name. Well, the, the real name? Beatriz Aurora Pinzon Solano. Solano. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. The third one. <laughs> Marimar is a Mexican telenovela created by Ines Rodena and produced by Valentin Pimstein and Veronica Pimstein. Well, the, the Pimstein family are kind of famous. They were producers uh, of, of many, many TV shows, not only telenovelas. I remember those names, probably, yes, Valentin Pimstein and the other, I don't know, Pimstein, Pimstein, something. Veronica. Okay, Veronica probably. Well, it's true or false? I think it's true. <laughs> It's true, yeah. yeah it's, it's, because those are fine. real names. Yes. It's true, guys. So, yeah, the fourth. Dulce Maria also has a secret place in the school known as the, the Old Secret Room. Is it correct or not? In what telenovela? Dulce Maria. Uh, Dulce Maria, what are they? Uh, is it one of those, one of those, one of those uh, t uh, telenovelas for kids, yeah, I remember, there were several, usually in the afternoon. Uh, yeah. For t uh, Carita de Angel, yeah, probably, yeah, I didn't watch that, I remember the name. Well, the she has a secret jokes place. Jokes about those telenovelas for kids. She has a secret place in a school known as the old secret room, is it correct? The old secret room, uh, I 
thing falls. I don't think it's that. So <laughs> that sounds like another story, like the gar secret garden. Uh, no, I think, I think no. False. Yeah, false. It's yeah. false because the correct one is well known as the old little room. There, her playful imagination imagination comes to life where she speaks with her mother Angelica, who dispenses advice to her and tells her wonderful stories. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay, five. The statement is. Colombian telenovela Yo Soy Betty La Fea has been adapted for for series in 10 other countries. False, true or false? I think it's true. I don't know how many, but probably okay, at least yes, in Mexico was one of them. I remember Argentina also. And then? I don't know. Probably yes. I don't know how many countries, probably <coughs> even in other languages, not only Spanish, not in, only in Latin America. But I think it's... Uh, yeah. <coughs> No. no, it's 17. 17, well, I don't know how many. You yeah. asked me if 10, well, no. Yeah. Well, many, I said many, eh? <laughs> I said many, probably more than 17. 10. 17. Well, well India, Turkey, yeah. Germany, Mexico, Netherlands, Spain, Greece, Belgium, Serbia, Czech Republic, Vietnam, Philippines, China, Poland, Brazil, Georgia, and United States. Yeah, it makes sense because that story is about uh, comedy and drama, drama and comedy, you know, it's uh, somebody, a woman that is considered ugly by many people uh, since childhood, uh, bullied, criticized, and as the time passes, she is transforming herself in somebody beautiful according to the eyes of other people, yeah, kind of. Interesting for many cultures, cultures and countries. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Seventeen. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> so yeah, next one is. Okay, let's see. Well, this is kind of fact, fun fact. Okay. Uh, is it correct or not? Okay. In the telenovela, there is there is story which a rich person always falls in love with a poor person. Yeah, that yeah, of course. That's the <laughs> typical, typical Mexican what telenovela. The novela? What yes, novela? yes. The telenovela is best. What all, the novela novela that telenovela? all of them, baby. <laughs> Mariana okay. del Barrio, Maria Mercedes, Marimar, Marimar. Marimar. all of yes. them, all of them. Uh, you are talking about a kind of recent telenovelas, but I remember some other stories when I was a child. I mean, okay, let's say many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> more interesting, eh? Because it was more related to crime, real drama, even horror. I remember some of them uh, 20, 20, 30 years ago, probably. Yeah. Well, the epic yeah, storyline yes, of Mary Marys, yeah, that. Basically, wearable. basically, it's kind of secret, but almost all Mexican telenovelas are about the the, the rich guy falling in love with the poor woman. Mm -hmm. the, it's like the Cinderella story, kind of. <laughs> Well, Cinderella not poor, I mean. Well, no, but uh, during the most of the story, yes, until realizing that uh, she was oh, yeah. basically the, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it's basically okay. yeah, the poor girl waiting for the charming prince. Yes, yeah, basically it's like that. <laughs> okay, next one, the same one, last one. The producer of Marimar, they place sausage inside the hair of the Mexican actress so that the the dog was a we're talking about Mari Maria. Yeah? Okay, the dog. Pulgos. So that the dog Pulgoso uh -huh, attentive, looking at her. Yeah, following her everywhere. Okay. Is true or false? Yeah, uh, well, maybe that makes sense because you don't know you have you have seen that working with animals, training training dogs yeah. is not easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably yes. I, I think so. I think so. It's true. I don't know, but I, I think it's true. Well, yes, it's true. I was reading this and then just like funny, but yeah, it makes sense because we yeah. have dogs. We so know. It's true. We know what, yeah. It's true, it's yeah. True. I, I've heard about that, uh, uh, about some so, movies, the people making that type of thing to, to attract the dogs or the animals <laughs> to them in other series or TV. The dog, the dog yeah. keep looking at. Yeah, because always distracted like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, how basically, many, how, how many, many you. How many they, were, been, they were no. seven, I think. I think, uh, I, I think five. Five. I, I, uh, five uh, that I could answer correctly. Five, yeah. mm. five out of seven is not so bad. Personally, I no, I think four. I need four only. Four. Okay, well, from seven, four. Well, it's four out of seven, yeah, more than fifty percent. Yeah. yeah, that's that's okay. 
but, but they are one my good prefer if you ask me about the older telenovelas uh, probably I remember some so of them very good like interesting them. by the time I was younger basically uh, you like telenovelas? no some of them were interesting I remember Cuna de Lobos uh, it's kind of drama and with that terrible uh, woman the mm -hmm. the bad the bad woman in the, in this telenovela was very good I remember that and I was a kid talking about super superpowers, uh, supernatural things, I remember, yeah, yeah, all kind of all, I'm talking about the 80s, basically. Yeah, well, I wasn't born yet. Now I could uh, try to do the same, I could uh, put some sausage yeah. in my head to be followed in the monster. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching, now we know not all Mexican, not all Latin, Latinos knows about telenovela. Uh, too many details. Yeah. But they enjoy it with that telenovela. Yeah, yeah show. You, you like the, the telenovela? Watch them. Yeah, interesting, <laughs> entertaining. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.